Hello everybody, it is the Dark Comic Nerd, and we're doing another episode of This Nerdy Life. We're doing it a little differently than we usually do. Usually I let you guys see what's on my tablet, whatever the thing is of the day. Uh, but this is Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to all my 171 subscribers, which I hope at least half of them aren't bots. <laughs> um, you guys see my face all the time on my morning with minecraft so i'm not really concerned about showing off my face i usually stick behind the scenes for most of my stuff though and don't usually do these kind of videos where you guys can see behind me and you see all my mess of my house and all this stuff now currently uh between the light behind me and i've got this uh netflix program called the birchwood fire in 4k i've currently got that going which was a real fire, it would warm things up in here a little bit. Though dry heat wouldn't exactly be the best heat in here for me. Um, currently it's a nice cool 61 degrees in here, so it's not too bad. Um, but the thing is, is that I just got back from Thanksgiving with my good friend, uh, the Hamels, which I don't mind saying their name out loud because a lot of you guys have seen Debbie show up on my Minecraft and her name is right out there for everybody to see. So from now on, uh, a lot of people have heard that I'm just gonna start calling them the Hamels. It, it pretty much takes care of my friend Jeff and her. Um, my friend Jeff does not get on YouTube that much to even get doxxed by anybody, so he doesn't really say anything offensive. He doesn't even deal with society. Good man. Um, so the thing is, is it's not something that we really have to deal with. Um, that's why I keep everything, my name, his name, my friend's names, uh, to a bare minimum. But a lot of them put their names right out there. So, what can you do? Um, so to show everybody, if I can, we got back from Thanksgiving. I got my turkey. I don't know if everybody can see that in there. I hope you can. Uh, it's my turkey that we got from, besides the one that I left there. But that's, yeah, uh, she's married. She's married to that one. So, but my good friend Debbie, she made an awesome turkey. Uh, he had to know that was coming. Um, got my rest of the rolls, sweet Hawaiian rolls, guys. These are those King's Hawaiian ones. Uh, so I've got those. Uh, what else do I have in here? I got the rest of my stuffing, which is just stove top, which wasn't, apparently the top wasn't good on that one, was it? Uh, better in, better the stove top in the thing than the top on it, huh? Um, let me just put that up there, guys, because you get away from my food. My cat can't get into it, folks, and she just really wants to smell it, but she's an idiot, so I don't trust her. Um, and last but not least is potatoes. We got the potatoes. Uh, nothing too fancy about that, but they were, it was good stuff. Uh, the only downside with these little, um, these little things Debbie gave me to use are they snap on when they don't get dented in the side, but that was on transport home. So, and we had an awesome dessert. I went to the local Hannaford knockoff here in my town and um, they just finished their new store. And I got this cool thing, which was um, this strawberry shortcake type thing, which was in a square about this big and it had layers of whipped topping in it and strawberry filling. And then on top it had chocolate white chocolate frosting and we, we devoured that thing it was great uh we all ate very well my friend jeff he ended up having chicken where me and debbie had turkey uh we got done a little sooner than i thought because of like everybody you eat so much i don't think it's it's the trip to tin or whatever that crazy thing is it's in the turkey i think it's because a lot of people eat a lot and the stomach takes blood from your brain and transports it to your stomach to digest everything you have. Which is why we learned that in school because my science teacher used to say, I wish they wouldn't have you guys go take lunch in the middle of my class because we'd all come back and we'd be like, and it wasn't because he was boring. He wasn't really that, that particular teacher was not boring. Other teachers, boring. Um, but he told us the explanation of it. Um, I also remember the fact that somebody asked, if you take a piss in a lightning storm and it, and it uh, um, hits the first off guys you're plumbing for your toilets usually underground so it would diffuse out into the ground but um, the thing is is if somebody asked like if the school got hit by a lightning strike and you were going to the bathroom could you get zapped and it's like well it could travel up your urine stream and it definitely zap you it could do that <laughs> so you learn some fun things I had some fun teachers in school other teachers were kind of putz asses and uh, pardon my French but they were um, they, I had a math teacher that was so sick of dealing with the jocks in class. He's like, one day he's like, that's it. I'm si I'm done teaching you guys. If any of you actually wants help on your work, you come up and see me. And only the really, you know, like daring 
half smart. There was a really intelligent girl in the class. She did all her work. She didn't need the teacher's help. And the rest of the people that were so-so, they would go up and see it, but mostly girls. And the rest of the people were like, what the heck? And that was where our teacher gave up. You know why, folks? Because teachers are unionized. And you think it's crazy nowadays with all their politics and everything involved in their teachings? Back then, it was just as bad. They could just do about whatever they want. Pardon me while I swig this down real quick. This is my Arizona diet. No, you can't see it because it's reversed. But it's green tea. It's blueberry. So... And it is awesome, which is why I swig it right out of here. And it saves me washing cups. So, so yeah, we had a great Thanksgiving, all three of us. Uh, I went and stopped in and saw the folks. My cousin from Massachusetts actually showed up to the family one down the road. The problem is, why didn't I go with my family and go down with my aunt and uncle, my parents, which, praise the Lord, they're still around. I want to tell everybody that. And my cousin, who actually came up from Massachusetts, even though he left his sick wife behind, which we were all like, nah, he ain't coming. And that's why I said, okay, that's it. Everybody keeps changing plans, what time we're doing at, who's coming, where the house is. That's it. I gave up. I wasn't doing it. So I went and had it with Hamels, and it was a good time. But I did stop in and see them, and I got to see my cousin for a minute. So it was good because I haven't seen him since nobody. Nobody has really seen him since post, excuse me, pre-COVID. That's how long it's been, folks. Think about it. Pre-COVID. So that's been almost three years, basically, if you really look into it. Most people in my family could only remember seeing him when my grandmother died, which was quite a while back. So and sorry every time I move my head out of the way, guys. The light behind me, uh, the overhead light was worse. So I'm keeping my head between between me and the light bulb to make it easier. And that's why I also got the TV on for lighting, because that's how you guys can see all the stuff I'm showing you. Um, so I'm doing this to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving out of my 171 subscribers. We keep going up every single day. It's awesome. Thank you so much. I'm trying to start getting my button gear and putting stuff on locals, but I don't want your money. I just want to advertise out there on locals. But um, it seems like since Musk took over Twitter, it's been easier for people to find my stuff. So And also, YouTube's been asking uh, to do surveys it's feeling uh, one of the latest surveys I haven't done yet is we wanted to have you, people take the survey to find out if we're having un, un something un something biased towards people and it was basically a fancy term for saying oh we didn't mean to do it yeah you didn't mean to do it my butt everybody knows but it's rougher on people with a ton of subscribers we don't have anywhere near that I have a small little group it's going up every day I didn't even think we'd ever get to 100 let alone 150 I wanted to do something special for the 150 broadcast then it just keeps going up and I feel so bad we didn't do really anything special for the 100 subscribers um, we cleared the 100 subscribers and we're going up and if we can get to 200 then I really need to get off my butt and it's stuff I want to do. But a lot of stuff I wanted to do revolved working on my computer. And take my word on it, folks. Have you ever tried to work on a computer that has probably been the computer that Fred Flintstone used? That's what we're talking about here, guys. We're talking about this thing is so old, even though it's a computer and it's technologically advanced over the stuff I grew up with, like an Atari. It's still old compared to the stuff nowadays, and it works like garbage. So, and can I afford one? No. And if you're going to give me money, sure. I'll tell you exactly where you can put it in my PayPal account. Till then, don't tell me to get a new computer because you can suck it. So the thing is, is that I got nothing for fancy hardware to do all this stuff that these other YouTubers do, which is why I do my streams and everything. And it seems like it's working out pretty good. Minecraft in the morning has brought in a ton of new subscribers. At least I'm pretty sure that's what's bringing it in because it's basically all I'm doing anymore. Um, we're on a big Minecraft kick ever since I got that realm. Me and all my friends are having a great time. Debbie's going to be on later. I'm not broadcasting it. I'm sticking mostly with Minecraft in the morning. Occasionally, if we do something really special, like the night we did mob farming when we were trying to get blaze rods, I should have broadcasted it, but it went pretty boring. It did not go like me and my friend Big Rush thought it would. So, <sighs> so the thing is, is, it wasn't that big of a deal, and it took a long time, and you guys would have been bored to tears. Um, so what else do we have going on, guys, in the world? Well, let's talk about something serious for a minute. Uh, this past week, Jason David Frank, who played Tommy Oliver, the Green Ranger. He played Tommy Oliver. So he was the Green Ranger in Power Rangers when he first got introduced. Then he was the White Ranger in the later seasons. Then, 
when they started doing uh, Zio and Turbo, uh, they, he was the Red Ranger for a while. Then I think he left when they handed over the authority to the Red Ranger to Rocky, I think it was later on. And no, wait, no, 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 wait. He was the White Ranger, I think, when Rocky was the Red Ranger. So he was the Red Ranger way after that. So what happened was Power Rangers in Space came up and they didn't go. And we ended up with new Pink Rangers and blah, 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 blah. And they went to space. And we had Andros, that was the Red Ranger, for a while. And then it just, from there, it took a while. But he came back for a couple specials, um, you know, with big, big Power Ranger crossover episodes. But the big thing was when Dino Thunder hit, um, which was a good couple of years after the original Power Rangers series, he came back as the Black Ranger. And he was basically the mentor leader for a while. And that was good. He, he played a teacher in that one. He was great. Um, Jason David Frank also did uh, a lot of soap opera stuff. Or at least a, no, a number of episodes. He only did, I think, one soap opera series. And it wasn't that good. Um, and he did some other stuff. But Power Rangers was his passion from what I can tell. Um, I think he would have done great on voiceovers for certain things. Um, and... Um, he also came back, I want to say, and did some other stuff. But um, I, when he did... I can't remember if he was in Forever Red. I don't think he was. I think that was Austin St. John. Um, but he did come back and do some stuff as Green Ranger. That was just one not too long ago. Um, and he did a lot of stuff in the Morphicons, which is their conventions. And he seemed to have a pretty good life. He was doing his own podcast, This Morphin Life. And he was doing a lot of stuff, and he seemed pretty good. From, from what I understand, not substantiated, from what I understand, the night that he unfortunately passed by his own volition, and you can look that up because YouTube's really picky about certain words. I don't have enough people that I think YouTube would care, but let's just not push the envelope. So I like how one guy said he un... What did he do? He unlived himself or something like that it was some weird word um but basically um you know he was uh, obviously having a problem with his wife and his divorce and that is a fact and there were, were some problems where his kids were getting taken care of him which we all know usually the women get him by de facto now um even if they're drug addicts they usually get them by de facto now because the judges think that women always make the better candidates and that's not always true now were they fighting over custody i doubt it maybe i don't know how old these kids are but he had a previous marriage that did end and this was his second marriage he was on and maybe he just had a really bad point um my understanding was there was a fight two fights that took off uh, that happened from witnesses in the hotel they were staying at um, I don't know why him and his wife were staying at the same hotel unless it devolved to the point where, um, oh, uh, let me uh, restart that guys on Netflix. That's why the lighting seemed like it dimmed there for a second. Um, I guess it devolved into maybe they were staying in separate rooms um, because maybe they were there together. And then I'm sure it seemed like, uh, uh, okay, they have to do that horrible loud music at the beginning. And... And the best thing is, I don't even have my volume up that loud. Holy crap. Okay, so... And I'm not playing the one with Christmas music. I would. But YouTube wants to copyright it and all this stuff. So it's like, you know what? Copy, copyright sounds of crackling fire as you rat bastards. There, take that. Copyright that. I want to cop... I'm going to copyright. I'm going to claim copyright privileges on something that the crackling sound of burning wood. Yeah, Okay. Um, but anyway, going back to the Jason David Frank thing, guys, uh, that's what's going around. Uh, they're not saying what, how he killed himself. We might never know. I wondered if there was some chance of foul play. They still have not officially said how he died. So that's, that's going to make things interesting. Remember, folks, it was Bob Sagan and a whole bunch of other people that have died in hotels before, and it's not always what you think it is. But a lot of that develops, devolves into conspiracy theories and other stuff that we're not going to get into because I don't want to uh, put up what is true and what is not true. I don't even want to deal with it. Um, that's for conspiracy people and other people that do in backroom discussions and stuff like that. And then when I say backroom discussions, I mean, literally you go to work and you have a discussion in the back room about it. Um, then there was Kevin Conroy, uh, the voice of Batman from Batman, the animated series. And I really loved Kevin Conroy, but in the last couple of years, 
he let his activist side show. And he started really peddling more towards, you know, the, well, let's just say certain agendas. We, uh, we all know. We all know about his personal life. And he really was starting to peddle. Now, he wasn't a hardcore person like that. He was kind of like E. McKellen, where he, everybody knew uh, what kind of lifestyle he had. And But the problem was, is it seemed like he was more interested in peddling that than it was about building from the success of all the years he did the voice of Batman. Batman! The only DC Comics which is not a failing disaster right now. And so, and when he decided to do what he did in the, the Batwoman series that they did when um, they had him come back for that Infinite Earth thing and that, 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 oh gosh, just, just, oh, it was horrible. So I would have felt more, if my ideal image of this guy hadn't been destroyed by Twitter and everything where he came out and was like, I'm all for the agenda. He wasn't like hardcore. But it's all I really knew about him. If you folks, if you go and look up his personal life on one of the wiki pages, it'll tell you this what 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 um, what sexual orientation he was. Is he only tell you about his personal life? That's it. He was this, and that's it. That's it. And they give a blurb about that. I had to look to find out that he grew up Irish Catholic. I I was kind of curious if he's. If he was saved and he was going to not be burning in hell for all the bad choices he made. Which, that is just my opinion. Out there, I don't want to hear any complaints from anybody like that. I'm just offering my opinion. Um, you know what, folks? When it comes to who you're doing it with and what gender you are and da-da-da-da-da, I know what the Bible says. And that's what I believe. But if you take the Bible out of it, for a moment and then we go with what I personally believe as a human being I don't care I don't care marry a pig for all I care my best friend Debbie did I mean we didn't say that um anyway so no you can marry farm animals you can have 30 wives you want the fun of having 30 wives so that they can all collaborate together on how to kill you and collect your insurance you go right ahead I don't care but it's like you know what I don't care what you do Biblically speaking, though, if you're willing to accept the consequences that my, and if you, if you don't accept my religion, folks, meaning if you don't just say, well, you, it's good that Dark believes in that. It's, it's okay that he believes in that. I don't believe in that, but it's good that Dark believes in that. That's how you have to accept it in this society. You want to know why? Because if you're not, what you're doing to me is almost like offending the Muslims. And you don't want to offend the Muslims, because remember, you offend the Muslims, and they don't throw you in a jail. They find a big ravine, and they just toss you off it. Not the Muslims, but regular crazy people. So, I mean, you can't do that. You have to be accepting of everybody, which means you have to accept that if I believe in Martians, and that's my religion, you have to accept it. You you, the person out there, have to accept that I believe that Martians created the human species. And if you don't accept that, then I could call you a racist. I mean, that's the craziness of society nowadays, folks. So the thing is, is that let's just all be peaceful and understand that. I believe in Jesus. I believe there's a heaven. I believe there's a hell. I believe that certain people are there in hell now and not up there in heaven. Let's just end it at that. You know what, folks? A lot of people who you have to be tolerant of their religion, like Muslims, you have to be tolerant of their religion. Don't tell me in this society nowadays you don't have to be tolerant of their religion. They believe in a heaven. It's just that when they get up to that heaven, what they get is a lot different than what I get. So if you're accepting of them, you have to be accepting of mine. And I don't just mean, well, in, in private, I'm not accepting of them. No, 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 you have to give me the same credence that you give them in public. So if, you, so if you're not out there going, hey, are you a Muslim? Yes. Okay, I don't believe in what you believe in. I will chop your head off, infidel. Um, you know, if you, and you have to accept that and move on with life. If you have to accept that, you have to accept the fact that I'm a Christian. So no sending me hate stuff. I'm a Christian. Maybe you're an atheist. Maybe you believe in the Greek deities. Like my friend, uh, my friend Chris Bumby believes in all deities. Um, the ones in China, the ones in Japan, the ones in Greek, uh, the Roman ones, all of them. He believes, he even believes in mine. Um, you know what? That's fine. Some people believe in Wiccan um, stuff. Um, a lot of people, believe it or not, if you're practicing magic, you're believing in the devil. You just don't seem to realize it. So there are a lot of people that believe in certain things. And you know what the funny part is, guys, is that um, the devil is real. It's just about you don't want to go where he is 
in the end of days in comparison to where you could go if you are saved. And I'm not saying I'm better than the rest of you because I'm saved. I'm just saying that I'm going to be happy to be up there with all the other saved people I know, which is like my friend Jeff, my friend Debbie. Uh, I have another friend named Jeff, I believe, that is saved. Um, I have a friend, Wes, who claims he's saved. And it's sad because my friend Chris, it would be nice to know that he's saved and he's going to he's gonna meet up there. Now, in the grand scheme of things, who's right? I believe I'm right. Maybe you believe that you're right. If you're an atheist, you're just going to go in the ground and it's going to be really dark for the rest of eternity and you're just going to go back into nothingness. Maybe that's what you believe in. Would you condemn me for believing in something better? That's what it really comes down to. Am I saying that yours is wrong? I'm not saying it, but if you'd like to read a Bible sometime and then actually see what the Bible says about it and go from there, then yeah, you can go with that because I just believe in what the Bible says, folks. I'm sorry. I believe that Jesus walked the earth. There's not a lot of dispute. If you look at a lot of religions, a lot of them don't dispute that Jesus walked the earth. What they dispute is if he died and got resurrected, which I believe with Christmas coming, folks, birth of Jesus, that's why we have Christmas. I don't care what the commercials say and the, and the and all this stuff with the money and everything and workplaces and stuff. I work in retail. It's going to be a big Christmas season. I expect tomorrow will make me hate my life immensely. Immensely. Um, but the thing is, is that we've got the birth of Jesus and then we have the resurrection during Easter. And you know what, folks? Um, there are a lot of people out there that believe in it. Do you know that more than half the country, if I remember the statistics right, believe in a higher power? So, folks, all I'm asking is that when I start talking about religion, if you don't want to hear it, you shut the camera off. Or, or in this case, you shut the video off. Um, but I don't want to see people going, Ew, you're, you're this and you're that. It's done phobe. Because you believe in Christ instead of, what? The nothingness that is beyond death? Okay, folks. Believe whatever you want. Just do me a favor. Let me believe in whatever craziness I want to believe in. If that's what you think is it's crazy. And because, folks, there's going to be a lot of religious-based holidays coming up. So, folks, today on Thanksgiving... Here in the United States, it was formed by the pilgrims who believed. And a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them believed in God. It's why they left England to come here. So, and admittedly, the Indians believed in gods too. They just believed in a different the spirits mostly. Um are you going to go out there and say that they're wrong because you believe in something different? I bet you're not because you don't want to offend anybody that's Indian. So the thing is, is that let's just all be peaceful and understand that we all believe in something different and not bash on people for what they believe in. My friend Glitch, he says he doesn't go to church. Am I judging him because he doesn't go to church? Heck no! If anything, folks, if he told me that he was a Satanist, I'd pray for him. That's it. Yeah, I, would I go to his, would I travel all the way to his house and try to beat the word of the Lord into him? No, I'd pray for him. That's it. That's all I can do. And then I let God handle the rest of it. Folks, I've seen God interact in my life in ways that you couldn't possibly imagine. So trust me, you're going to want to let me believe what I believe. And if you believe with me, perfect. Thank you, guys. I'm not trying to convert anybody. I'm just telling you what I believe. And if you believe I'm a happy person because of what I believe in, then more power to you too. So... Uh, keep in mind, like I said, next two major holidays, if you don't count New Year's, Christmas, Easter, religious-based holidays. Think about that one. While well, you're enjoying your chocolate bunny and your presents. So I can tell you right now, guys, I wanted to think about doing a video, another This Nerdy Life, and showing my, I'm going to be wrapping stuff for Christmas. But I know that the people that I wrap for the most um, my good friends, the Hamels, are going to be watching this later on and we don't want them to see what they're getting. So, no, my friend Wes and Chris never watch. So maybe we'll show you guys what they're doing. Maybe we'll do a rap, a rap party. Uh, we'll see. As it is, I've used up almost half the time here on the phone that I actually have available to me. I did clear off a lot of space for a lot of the videos we're doing. So we're going to cut this back down, guys. But I did want to talk about those two major events over the past week that happened with Jason David Frank and Kevin Conroy. I wanted to say uh, Happy Thanksgiving to everybody and talk a little bit about, uh, you know, I'm thankful. You guys can tell I'm very thankful to the Lord in my life. I'm thankful I got heat in my house right now. My bobber is only down this much. 
my bobber is this big, so you can imagine that I'm down about a quarter of a tank, heading towards a half, and let's hope it's going to last for a bit because gas is expensive as sin. I'm also thankful, folks, that the diesel crisis that was predicted did not come into effect yet. So we'll see what happens. I'm happy we still got everything around here. I'm happy that I have heat in my house. I'm thankful I have good friends, the Hamels, and my folks are still alive, and I've got plenty of relatives and family still around. I'm very thankful for that. I'm thankful I have a house around me, folks, and I've had enough money to buy good things for friends and family alike over the course of this year. And I am very blessed, and even with my crazy cat who's around here somewhere, I'm very blessed by that, guys, and I'm very blessed that I have all of you out there. Believe it or not, guys, you are a blessing. See, folks, with the way my religion works, it believes in almost a predestination, which is that I'm blessed because all of you joined, and all of you joined of your own free will, admittedly. I'm not saying you didn't, but that it might have been predestined so that I could say today that I am blessed by having all of you out there, subscribers, who are watching this and are hopefully feeling blessed Um by some of the good words that I'm saying today, guys. And I hope you are, because you guys are a blessing to me. And I am extremely thankful for many, many things in my life, more than I can count. And every day, I do my best during my prayers on the way to work to give thanks to the Lord for everything, folks. And I think we really should. Every single day, we ought to give thanks. And the thing is, folks, maybe I really wish you would believe in Jesus Christ, but maybe you believe in something else. You know what? Start being thankful. Start being thankful. A lot of religions based are based on prayer. A lot of people pray to the deities. I see Muslims at work uh, bow down and do their prayers every so many hours, I think they're supposed to do, so many times a day. Um, I would hope that, I'm not going to knock what they believe in. It's different than what I believe in. But I would hope that whoever you believe in, you're giving thanks for what you have. But personally, folks, um, I don't think I've ever seen some of these I've seen things that like Satanists and Wiccans and all these things, they always seem to use what they have as their religion to curse people and wish bad tidings on them. So let me think about it. I am uh, I believe in a religion that tells you to give uh, give you know money to other people. Sure, you give it to the church, but the church actually does something worthwhile and gives it back to the community, believe it or not. Um so, but I like giving. If I had tons of money, I'd probably be out there doing all kinds of fun things with it. Um, because I like giving. I just don't have a, money, a lot of money to spread around. If I lived the way the Lord wanted me to, I probably would have plenty of money to spread around. But I don't. And it's a sad, shameful thing that I live with and I'm trying to work on. Um, but it's like, okay, you're told to love your neighbor the way you love yourself. Um, you're told to be charitable you're told to um and these are you know these are commandments but they're also it's not like the lord strikes you down if you don't do them it's just that your life might be more better might be better if you did them so you know be charitable you know love other people even when they do wrong unto you you know turn the other cheek um you know a lot of the a lot of the religion of christianity is about loving people who hate us so that's wrong? Odd. But I'm, I'm not going to beat the dead horse too much, guys. I'm just going to say that you know, a lot of people out there would be like, eh, he's a Christian. I don't know why I hate him, but I must hate him. Oh, yeah, I must hate him because society says I must hate him. But yet, I don't listen to anybody but my voice is in my head. So why am I listening to society? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just hate him anyway. And that's the problem is everybody gets into the machine and says, I'm just going to hate people. I had a I had a boss one time, folks. I did a side project for my retail establishment, which had me helping to remodel stores in the retail establishment that I worked at. And the thing is, is that um, I had a boss during that thing that she came to me one day and she literally said, I don't know why, but I it, it actually confused her. But she says, for some reason... Every time I look at you, I, I just, I hate you and I, I want to be mean to you. And, and she was confused and she admitted to it, which is something you don't really see a lot of bosses doing. And you know what, folks, a lot of those people that come up to me, I act like a pretty good Christian too. And a lot of them, um, they came up in bad homes where they were forced, Christianity was forced down their throats. And there are a lot of people that are bitter to that. 
And that's what it is. I just remind them of bad memories. But some of them might not be living the best lifestyle. And so there's something it's whispering in their ear and their lifestyle. And it tells them, hate that guy because he is a beacon of light. You must hate the light. Come to the dark side. Woo. And that's what people do. And it's sad because, you know what, folks? You know what there is in the darkness? Nothing. That's why it's darkness. There's nothing. If anything, you might get lucky and stumble over something and break your nose. There's nothing good in darkness. Every once in a while, you can see the stars. You know you can see the stars? The stars are light and everything else is dark. So, hence, it's not pure darkness. Pure darkness is basically nothingness. Nobody likes nothingness unless you're a real loner, at which point... Tell me who you are. I need to pray for you, dude. Or do that. So, but next that, it's been a great Thanksgiving. I want everybody to know that I am truly thankful uh, for everything. And the heat's kicking on right now. I'm truly thankful. I'm thankful for my internet right now that's playing this. I'm thankful for my good friends. And I'm thankful for my PlayStation 4 where I'm going to get on Minecraft after I do this. And I'm thankful to you guys out there. And I wanted you to know this video is just as much for everybody wishing Thanksgiving greetings to everybody as it is to tell you guys how awesome you are. And thank you for all the real people who aren't out there to put crazy porn stuff in my videos which thank goodness when I do live broadcasts it hasn't been as bad as I've been weaseling them out and as YouTube has been helping me as I report them and get them out of here it's been a little bit better but it's like let's hope most of you are real life people and you can understand and if you're in another country where you don't celebrate Thanksgiving I hope you're being blessed today anyway and you can be well assured on this end of the world folks for me that um, I'm thankful for you and the thing is, is that because if you're watching this, that means I'm thankful for you. Think about how that might blow your mind. Circular logic, like that Matrix thing where he, where she says, what really will blow your mind is, would you have dropped it if I didn't tell you when he, when he knocked the vase over? So the thing is, folks, is just keep in mind the circular logic of this, how I believe it, is that you're watching me today because you are destined to watch me. And the thing is, is that I can thank you for watching me. So, ooh, yeah, nice circular logic, ain't it? Because the thing is, is that basically you're watching me so that I can thank you and be thankful that you're watching me. So there we go, folks. Something to blow your mind or basically go, what the heck did that guy just say? Uh, before we leave you for today. And I hope that you guys are having a blessed day, whatever you're doing, whatever holiday you're celebrating. If you're in another country where things are rough right now, be aware that the Lord still loves you no matter what you're going through. I know you're thinking to yourself, the Lord loving me ain't stopping me from dodging the bombs and not having electricity and all these other things. I know it seems bad, folks, but we started here in America at rough beginnings. You can look back at our history and see how things were for the pilgrims. And yet, here we all are right now, folks. Sometimes it's rough. And sometimes it doesn't make sense. And sometimes it doesn't seem like there's anything to be thankful for. But if you look out there, folks, the number one thing that you can be thankful for is you're still alive. A lot of people are thinking to themselves, I'd rather be dead. You know what, folks? The problem is when you're dead, you can't look back and say, dang, I made the wrong choice. That's the problem. And that's the problem with other people like Jason David Frank. You know, and other people that made their they made their tough decisions. Or my good friend uh, Jeff, he had a friend named Josh who made poor health choices, and those cost him his life. And the problem is, is folks, when you're dead, you don't have the opportunity to tell everybody how wrong you were. So just keep that in mind that you thank you should be thankful that you're still alive, and be happy to the Lord, or in your case, whoever you believe in, guys. Just keep in mind, you can't be thankful for being alive to yourself. Maybe you're doing the right things, like exercising and doing all this stuff, and you believe that's what's keeping you alive. But just think about it, guys. What's really keeping you alive? And be thankful for that. Because that, folks, is why I get to talk to you today. In the meantime, guys... Keep your eyes peeled for another episode of This Nerdy Life and some other videos coming up. I'm sorry that we haven't done as much Nerd Showcase and Cod Hunter and all the other stuff that we're going to do down the road. But it's been really tough with a lot of the choices that I made lately and putting a lot on my one of my extra days uh, off is always put into work now. I need the extra money. So it is the way it is. It's made it tough. I also want to take the time later on down the road, guys, just to give you an idea of future projects. I have a Star Trek figure I want to show you guys. I want to do something about that. I bought it just for collectability. There's, there's a reason. Um, 
I have some Transformers here I want to show everybody. I talked to a uh, memorabilia collector, which shout out to him, God Devil. Thank you for getting... God Devil recently commented. Uh, he went back and commented on a Ninja Turtle video from a while ago, so I'm happy to hear from him. And a lot of the rest of you out there, Glitch Emerald, and a lot of you, I thank you so much for getting in and commenting on various videos. And thank you for all the people that have been watching the Let's Build and all the other stuff. And a lot of people watch my... Um, my unboxing because we didn't really open it of my Ninja Turtles Switch game. I'm so thankful to all you guys out there that are checking that out. Um, the thing is, is that um, we have more stuff to do. I have uh, want to do a long video talking about how my local comic shop closed down and the fact that all the comics are going uh, even more so. The revamp of Marvel, I mean uh, DC, and all this other stuff to talk about and do a big video on that sometimes. But it's about time, and time is rough right now. So bear with me, guys. And just remember, at any point in time, you can put stuff in the comment section. Positive stuff, please. But if you need to put a negative criticism, feel free. I can accept it. I've done it before. Just don't pick a fight. That's all I ask. But um, if you want to comment and ask for anything particular, you can do it anytime, guys, on any video. I get notifications when the comments come up. So just let me know. And um, I can definitely help where I can. Uh, pray where I can and um, get stuff set aside to do videos when I can. So just keep that in mind because I do take requests, everybody. So in the meantime, have a great Thanksgiving or have a great day doing whatever you're doing, guys, and we'll catch you later.